Shanna Rowe Jackson here from Caution Our Set Play, and welcome to my annual birthday art supply haul. So this is a combination of things that I was able to get with gift cards for my birthday and things that I got as gifts that were art related. I pretty much do this video every year now, and so let's see what I got this time. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is a book that's so big. I can't even fit it on camera. This is a book that my husband got me. Artists, Their Lives and Work. I guess he's so sweet. He's actually been looking at this book for a long time and has been wanting to get it for me for a couple years now. And he finally was able to get it. And I just think it's sweet because he's not he's not an artist. But for him to go out of his way to find me a, like a nice art book... And it's just really cool. It's just like a really neat art history book. And the thing that's like really exciting about it is, there's Monet, I love it. The contents page is kind of set up almost like a timeline. And it goes all the way back to before 1500. So it's just really exciting. And it just lists all the artists in these different chapters. I'm looking forward to diving into this. It is humongous. It's giving me um, school vibes, which is great because normally this time of year I would be buying my art textbooks and I love to learn. So I'm really, really excited about this one. I will let you know later on like how much I end up loving it. I'm sure I will mention it again, but it's so pretty. But yeah, so I just want to show you that because it's definitely art related. Never stop learning. That's my philosophy. Okay, so let's dive into that Jerry's box. Don't mind this dirty table. It's a studio. Art happens and things get filthy. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is just some acrylic pouring medium. Hopefully you can see that on there. It's kind of a long bottle. This is by Lucas and so I got it from Jerry's Autorama, obviously, as I already mentioned. Of course, I'm going to throw out there, this obviously isn't a sponsored video, these were items that were purchased for me or that I purchased myself. So none of the brands listed are involved in this video. Anyway, get that stuff out of the way. So I've been wanting to try another pouring medium. I usually do the Liquitex pouring medium. I love it, but it's kind of pricey. This was a little bit cheaper, so I'm going to try it, see if I like it, and then I might start buying this more often. Speaking of Liquitex, I just decided to get some gesso. I've been needing some gesso for a very long time. I have some gesso that I've had for like 20 years and now it's starting to mo look more like paste or putty maybe. Like it's really thick. Like thicker than the type of milkshake that I like. So it's really awful and it's just not working well. So I needed some new stuff. A lot of the stuff that I got is stuff that I just really needed in the studio. So there's some gesso, and I've heard a lot of good things about that gesso, so I've been wanting to try it. And the next, not specifically an art supply thing that I want to show you, is this fixative for soft pastels. This is my absolute favorite soft pastel fixative. I have never noticed a color change with it. Um, I haven't noticed it darkening anything, like it darkens the colors when you first spray it but then when it dries it goes right back to normal and it keeps things in place it's fantastic it's a little pricey it's by Sennelier but it's definitely worth it I've never had any issues with it and I know that's an issue with a lot of fixatives and soft pastels especially so something else that I got for the studio is an aqua mist fine mist spray bottle. I've been hearing a lot of different artists talk about these lately and I think that it would just be a good thing to have in the studio. Right now I have this one and it doesn't really spray fine. It's like it just it, I don't know if you can see that on camera. I'm just making a mess for no reason and as you can tell it's really loved but it falls over easily. It's kind of annoying. It's always falling over. So I kind of want to replace it and see if I could try the fine mist sprayer and I've also heard people talking about putting certain fixatives and stuff in it and I do have the Spectrofix fixative that has an awful nozzle on it and it just spurts and spatters everywhere so I want to try that I heard from Lisa Clow from La Cree Fine Art that she's going to be trying 
a you know fine mist sprayer for that so I think I might either use this for that or obviously for water I haven't decided yet okay so we're gonna get into the art supplies I didn't get a ton a ton of actual supplies this time the first thing I'm gonna show you is basically just me restocking these are some of the polychromos pencils and I just needed to restock on some of the colors that I've been running low on these two colors in particular I bought two of because I use quite a bit and I didn't have any really good backups these ones obviously I just were I was getting low on so this isn't as exciting it's not as fun as getting a full set of colored pencils but I needed to replace a few of my favorites okay so I also got some surfaces and other things like that the first thing I want to show you is some gridded paper I love this paper this is how I do the grid method it's a little bit thicker than tracing paper but if you can see it has the grids all drawn out for me this is a smaller pad I have a larger pad I think it's like 12 by 16 or something that I use for my 11 by 14s and up until now I've used for like my 8 by 10s and things like that this one is eight and a half by 11 inches so I'll be able to use this and cut it down to my eight by ten size for when I want to do eight by ten and that's for when I use the grid method what I will do is instead of drawing a grid because I can't draw straight lines I use this paper I put a grid over my artwork in GIMP in my photo editing program and over my reference photo I should say and then I look at it and I copy it and I only ever do just like a really pre preliminary outline but this is for things like portraits and things that are really really detailed that I just want that extra precision for and it works great and then I just transfer it either I use my light box or I put some colorful soft pastel on the back of it and use it to transfer it to my actual drawing paper that way there I'm not risking wrecking my good drawing paper while I'm going through the sketch process and I don't have to worry about erasing grid lines and causing issues with my drawing that way and I don't have to worry if my grid is accurate I don't have to measure I don't have to do any of that I just have to count to eight and count to ten cut it out so that I have it bada bing bada boom we got a drawing So, as you know, if you've been watching my channel, I have been talking about switching to panels for when I paint. I've been using a lot of the ampersand panels, which I absolutely love, but I am always looking for some other alternatives just to see what else is out there, of course. So, I came across these Da Vinci Pro panels. They're coarse textured surface grips media. It's resist grip, so I think it's supposed to really, like obviously grip things <laughs> that, seem, that seems to be the, the theme here right um, I'm looking for something that's absorbent enough that it doesn't get streaky a lot of the issues that I've had with panels I've tried in the past um, for instance I tried the Blick panels for my sky series and I was just fighting the panel the whole time even when I gessoed it myself with my old crusty gesso which I already spoke about um, <laughs> Could have been part of the problem but no matter what I did unless I airbrushed and even then they were just way too slick and so I was looking for something absorbent long story short obviously I had tried the encaustic board which I've told you about and so I saw this and you can kind of see this little texture so I'm hoping this will be absorbent enough for acrylic and watercolor not watercolor acrylic oils and and the like so it's not going to be too streaky but I think that it won't be so textured that I won't be able to get the fine detail I'm looking for. Plus, they're solid. You know, it's I'm looking forward to using panels because whenever I have stretched canvas, I risk getting them dented. And the canvas panels, if you don't get a good company, they warp over time. And so I'm looking for something really sturdy and really great. And yeah, so that's why I've been doing panels. Speaking of panels, <laughs> I got more encaustic board. If you, as I said before, if you've been watching my videos lately, you have seen that I have been 
trying encaustic board for most of my mediums. So far, I have tried it with casein. I have tried it with acrylic. I have tried it with water-based markers. I love it for all three of those so far. The next one that I'd like to try it with is oil. I haven't decided what I want to do for my next oil painting, so that's why I haven't started it yet. But, yeah, this is... This is my favorite, as of right now, this is my favorite panel to paint on, even though it's for encaustics, which I'm sure it's great for encaustics, um, but I haven't tried that. I definitely love this for painting. I even like it better than their gesso board, which I do love their gesso board, but it tends to be a little bit smoother than I would like. This has just enough texture. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Sorry if there's a glare, and there is a glare. But just enough texture, just absorbent enough so that it isn't streaky and, again, smooth enough that I can get the fine detail I want for realism. All right, so we're going to get to the main meat of this haul. And the main thing that I was after from Jerry's, and that is casein. So if you saw my, my video where I tried casein for the first time you will know that I fell in love with this paint. And this paint is one of the oldest paints known to man. I will link my, my video in the description below where you can see where I reviewed it. I had their underpainting set already and it came with like five colors. And I fell in love. <laughs> so I may have gone a little bit overboard and bought every one of their light fast colors, which they have a lot of light, most, the majority of the line is light fast and some of them are probably more similar in color than I should have done. I had put these in my Jerry's cart months ago. Like I did the research on them to find out which ones were light fast and all that and I I went I know I went overboard. But that's why I waited until I had gift cards and stuff to buy them. And I'm super excited. You will definitely be seeing more casein paintings from me in the future. Now, like, I was able to mix a lot from the set that I already have, and I love color mixing, so I probably didn't need all these colors. Like, there's a lot of them that I can mix very easily by myself. But look how pretty they are. Look, look how exciting this is to have all these pretty colors. Like, I know how to mix paint, but at the same time, I mean, if they have the paint out there, why not get it? And it has like all the light fast information on the back. Very, very exciting. So I am super excited about this. So I do have a couple more things that will be coming. There was something else that I had ordered from Jerry's that hasn't gotten here yet. And I guess I have one more gift coming from my husband that also hasn't gotten here yet. So I will be turning the camera back on when those come. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so it's been a couple days since I first started this video. But I have a few more things that I'd like to show you. This is actually something that I didn't get for my birthday, but I got shortly before. And this was a gift from the faculty, my art faculty, from my art school for finishing up art school and they presented this to me when we did my ceremony, my opening ceremony for my senior art exhibition. And I also had gotten an award through the school, so they presented that to me at the same time. So me and the other students that were part of the senior thesis exhibition each got a book. And the book was something that the faculty chose to kind of go along with the type of theme of the artwork we do. My theme obviously was skies, which was landscapes. And so they got me a book about painted landscapes. And I'm very excited to dive into this. And I just thought I would show you since it's art related. And I had shown you the book that my husband got me. I mean, there's just some beautiful work in here by some very, very awesome artists. So I'm really, really excited to look at this and really get the chance to dive in and learn about some other contemporary artists who do landscape. I had also gotten a couple things from Amazon. 
One of them you've seen me use in my videos before. These are the Jane Davenport Baton Blenders. They're very much like the soft blenders. And these are set up to look like makeup. She has like this whole line that looks of art supplies that look like makeup. Really, really cool stuff. And this is one of my favorite things of hers. And it's just basically to blend pastel and things like that. And I, I love them because I love the length. And they work really well. Something else that I got from Amazon that I've been wanting to try for a while are these Mars Lumograph black pencils. And they're basically just, you know, some... Oh, I can't open it. Well, anyway, they're graphite pencils. And I think one of them, I think the 8B is a carbon pencil. I think that's why I got this set. So it has a range from 2B to 8B. So they're supposed to get really, really dark. And I haven't really tried the carbon pencils as far as graphite goes like so I'm interested to see how that goes so at some point I'll probably review this little set and just do a piece with them okay and so the last thing that I want to show you is more equipment based this was the gift that my husband was waiting on for me that he had gotten for me and it hadn't come yet before I had done my other part of this video and it is a stand for my camera and it's supposed to clamp to the desk and it's you know it extends and you know all the perfect technical terminology that I'm giving you here but yeah I'm anxious to use this because as I've mentioned my tripod isn't doing very well and I'm always looking for ways that I can set up new interesting camera angles I mean obviously I do the above view a lot but I'm trying to find different ways to set up interesting angle. So this should come in handy. So yeah, that is the loot this year. Um, a lot of it was more just things that I needed because I've used them all. Some of them are new things that I'm anxious to try. Obviously, I have some books. I think the really, like the only really real, real supply I got was the casein paint, but, and I already know that I'm in love with them. So you'll definitely see some more artwork in casein from me in the future. But yeah, I think I got a pretty good haul this year. Like it's, most of it is stuff I needed and all of it is fun in its own way. So, all right, so thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. See you next week. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please hit subscribe. Also, if you're interested in seeing more of my artwork, I'm on social media. So check out the links in the description below.